Well, former Victorian Premier Jeff Kennett says people who work from home should be paid less than their colleagues who actually go to the office. He says work from home staff should have their salaries reduced by whatever savings they make from not having to travel. He also says it's unfair that some people get to work from home while others, such as nurses and school teachers, don't have that option. So, to make things fair, you either pay people who work from home less or, alternatively, employers could be forced to pay more money to people who go to the office. Here's Jeff Kennett on 3AW Radio. And I'm not suggesting that people who work for home are less productive, but I am saying that there are increased costs now for those like our nurses and our teachers and our frontline uh, responders who have no choice but to go to work. And the cost for them to doing so is higher than those who stay at home. Now, not necessarily reduce salaries, that's an option. Caleb, I think it's true that workers who stay at home do save money on parking and petrol, but, I mean, employers save a lot of money. They don't have to use office space. They save on cleaning, on electricity. I reckon you should pay work-from-home staff members more money because they're saving the company business. No, that's not true because they're keeping the offices open for the people who'll actually get off their asses and go into the office. Yeah, but you don't need as much office space anymore. No, no, yeah, but, but what, what, are you tell, what are you telling it. me? That, that all of the, the businesses uh, across the country have now removed all of their office space. They've scaled down to only keep the people who want to come into the office. You've got businesses now are saying, no, we actually want our workers to come back into the office, to interact face-to-face, -to, -face, to be social human beings, somewhere where the boss can actually, you know, walk out of his office and come out and have a chat instead of having to schedule a Zoom call at 4.30pm this afternoon, which is how offices have always operated, and you've got these entitled workers are saying, no, oh, no, oh, you've got to let me work from home, unless you've got a contract that specifically says you are on a, a hybrid deal or a work-from-home deal, and the vast majority of people employed at the moment don't because they were sent home during COVID because the government told them they had to go home. Well, boo-hoo! It's not Combank's fault or any other business's fault that the, 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 the government would not let them have people in the office. The boss is saying, come back, you should bloody well go back. Times have changed, though, Liz, haven't they? Times have massively changed. Firstly, the government can suck it up. They've made their bed when they locked up millions of healthy people for what I would argue is absolutely no reason. <laughs> a virus was never going to be contained. We knew that at the beginning and this one happened to have a well over 98% recovery rate, so do me a favour. This has already been flagged in the public sector because we know yesterday the Union for Public Servants inked a deal already so that public servants, if you're working anywhere in government, you now have a lot more sway when it comes to working from home and any employer who wants to say no to you has to give a business-based formidable reason as to refuse you your request. That's so this just... now also risks becoming kind of class warfare because mm. why should people in the private sector not be given the same concern? consideration by their bosses. People have discovered over the last few years a much better work-life balance and they don't want to part for it. The, the, with it, rather, the very idea that Jeff is floating here, that people would be now penalised for having found a better quality of life, they're being paid for the same work output. And, in fact, many employers argued that they had better outcomes from people staying at home because well, there's less that distraction. Employer. That's up to that employer. But if, one, if another employer, i.e. Combank, is trying at the moment, we talked last night yeah, about Randwick, Randwick City Council, if the employer, he who pays the piper calls the tune, mm -hmm. if the employer says to you, it's time to come back to the office, you have no right to refuse that. You choose to work there. If you don't want to work there, go and get a job elsewhere. Yeah, I'm paying is, you. You do what is, I tell you. The problem is businesses that take that attitude is. are going to struggle to get staff because now there exactly. is the expectation. And I don't think COVID caused it. I think COVID just made everybody realise, hey, we're in a digital age. Life has changed. And so COVID awakened us to that. And people who don't have an employer who recognises that will go work for someone who does. I just find it so sad. I mean, we are social creatures. And, and I have spent most of my working life in an office or a new 
newsroom. And it's so much easier, I find, to do my job when you are with other people who you can bounce ideas off. You don't... You can get up and walk from one desk to another instead of having to make a phone call. It, it makes for cohesive teams. I and completely agree. when you work in a team situation, you've got people now who've never met their colleagues. Yeah, I mean, but how what is that you're a talking situation? about, Caleb, is a personal preference. And one I yeah. share, during lockdown, I hated it. You roll out of bed, you're never leaving your apartment. I, too, am social. I love the office culture. I love the lunches. I love the let's go get coffee. I love the small conferences around the water bubbler. All of that, wonderful. But now you're just talking about a personal preference. No, but the bosses have got to force people to come back to the office so they can rediscover that. They've got into their slobby ways at home. No. They can sit around in their pyjamas all day. I reckon no. you work harder at home because you don't work nine to five and then forget about it. Typically, if you're working from home, you work well into the night because mm. you, you pace yourself. We, we went to the streets and asked people what they thought about working from home and whether you should be paid less for having the luxury of it. Here's some of their comments. Do you reckon that people who work from home should get paid less? No. Why? Well, they're still doing their job, hopefully. What about money they save on petrol, parking? Shouldn't that be deducted from their wage? No, that's a perk. No, that is not a good reason to be given or a good answer to be given. They're still working, they're sacrificing and producing more by being home, being conscientious, and I don't think they've lost the plot by staying home and not fulfilling the obligation of work. No? <laughs> no. They're still doing the same work from home. Yeah, but they save money on travel, petrol, parking. It's just a luxury that they have. They have the options of working from home. We don't. Um, I think so, yeah, because they're not really going to the office and they don't need to spend money on transport or things like that, so... No! <laughs> <laughs> They're doing the job. If they do the job, why not get paid the full amount? No, the same. No. No, not at all. Oh, uh, no. No, definitely not. They tend to juggle more, so... Now, I've got some friends who work from home, so I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> <laughs> am, am, am I to assume that perhaps you think they should go back to the office? Do you know what? I think it's a good idea to go to the office because you're mixing with other people. You're not stuck at home and becoming antisocial. I love how adamant most people were. No, people who work from home should have the right to enjoy the luxury of working from home, Liz. I, I agree. I agree. Funny how they all agreed with us, Caleb. <laughs> yeah, well, lots of people can be wrong. That's, that's you know, not unusual. Look, there might have been some $50 notes exchanged during <laughs> those <laughs> years, but...